This minute of Skate the Infinity starts with Lunga apologising to Reki for not remembering him in class. And ends with Cherry looking ominously at the window at Reki and Lunga? This is minute nine of episode one, Snowfall on a Hot Night. Welcome! Hello! Welcome, welcome! Welcome to Infinite Minute, an anime by minute podcast where me, Jonathan Lawrence, and me, Caitlin Matheson, watch Skate the Infinity minute by minute. Thanks for joining us tonight, today, or wherever you're listening to this and whenever. Whatever time. Probably on your commute if you're like me. Yeah. Or on your run. Yeah, if you like, like me. Like us. Yeah, do that all the time. <laughs> How are you, Katie? I'm good. I'm That's good. good. Funny minute this one, isn't it? Funny old one. I like this minute a lot. Funny old minute. Um, <laughs> this is a fun minute. Yeah. Uh, has a very important moment in it that I want to talk about. It has a great soundtrack too. Yes. Yeah. This like cool, you know what, I kind of like, this is going to sound bad. This like jammy, bluesy kind of guitar music kind of reminds me of like Sims. <laughs> What? <laughs> like The Sims? Like, like the free jazz from like The Sims 1 soundtrack? Yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like it kind of sounds like a waiting screen for like when you're in the shop. Not like, yeah. That, that Sims 1 soundtrack it. is fucking great though. So Holy great. shit. Some bangers on that one. Did you have a corrections alley? I think you did. I did, yeah. I looked up what Okinawa is uh, when we are talking about what that is. Mm-hmm. It's so many things. It's oh, like because yeah, I, I said it was an island, but I think it's, it's a also city. a city. Yeah, it's a was city. I right? It's an island, or it's a collection of islands. It's an island, and it's a prefecture. So it's like wow. so many wow. different things to so many different people. I'm sure. <laughs> no wonder I had no idea yeah. what it was. <laughs> Whenever I think, ah, oh, there's this old ad where they were saying that the the word for beach is close to the word for nipple, and it was an ad for Okinawa. I'll have to find that and link it in the show notes. It's like, Please. I hope this is real. I hope it's not something that I dreamed. <laughs> this weird, like, that would be a tourism very ad for Okinawa. Dream. <laughs> oh, no, it might be wave. It might be wave and nipple. I don't know. They definitely point at their nipples. It's guys uh, <laughs> in the ad. <laughs> and it's like, this means beach. This means nipple. We're in Okinawa. Wow. And that was the ad. <laughs> if you've made that up, that I is I hope I haven't. Incredible. I really hope I haven't made that up. It's really incredible. Um, yeah, Skate the Infinity. <laughs> That's the running gag. This, the thing I love about this is that Reki immediately is like, let's be friends. Yeah. Do you want to ride like, my board? He, there is no hesitation. He's just like, let's hang out. Yeah. I hazard to say it's a bit seedier in the dub. <laughs> in the sub, he's like, want to give my board a go? And in the dub, it was... You know you want to hop on. And I was like, what? excuse me? <laughs> excuse me, Recky? Hop on what, Recky? What? what do you want him to hop on? There's a bit later on as well that I thought was so bizarre. Must have been like a lip sync issue between the dub and the sub. Oh. But we'll talk about it when we get there. Okay. Um, but, yeah, he's straight in like, let's be friends, ride my skateboard. Yeah. I think it really must be – Back to that first thing in the classroom, just rec- maybe recognizing a si- similar spirit mm. kind of person. He just, he, I mean, he does strike me as the kind of person who would want to make friends with people. Yeah. And maybe he sees this as his chance. He's like, oh, this kid is new, doesn't have any friends yet. Maybe I can, yeah, get him to skate with me. Recky's face when he says, I saw you totally fixated on the on the skateboard. He's so excited to make a friend. It's Adorable. So much youthful energy. It's so adorable. Mm. I just want to. I just want to. I just want to be not old. <laughs> uh, tell me about it. I just this... want my knees to be working. <laughs> this show made me. <laughs> I'd like to go for a run and not come back with one part of my body in pain. <laughs> yeah, I think there was a, there was uh... a bit of um uh, a bit of advertising I saw for the series that was like. Skate times battle equals infinite youth, which by itself is just a really <laughs> funny statement. But I feel like part of this show really is just capturing that infinite youth. Agreed. Just yeah, those they- teenage vibes in Okinawa that remind me of my childhood <laughs> in Okinawa. <laughs> 
<laughs> but even the like the older characters, you know, they still it's their fun place, I yeah. guess, to be a kid again. They they don't have the responsibilities of being adults there. Yeah. Don't have the responsibility of being restaurateurs and calligraphy AI calligraphy. masters. <laughs> Exactly. Uh, but yes, this little shot of Reki is absolutely adorable. So cute. Oh, and the Sakura blossoms. I think I just had a weird moment where I thought we were watching a different episode of the show, but we're doing a different episode of our podcast. Of course, the, the Sakura blossoms that are falling in the background of the last minute are still there. You know what <laughs> I mean? There. Like, yes. So like they shirked on the animation minute to minute between minutes yeah, that would be so funny ah uh, just when he gets on the board it's so good this is an accurate depiction of when i first stood on a skateboard it went exactly like this i can tell you that right now I, now that i can actually stand on one without falling off i'm like how did i not realize how to do this before mm. but there is really something about the first time you step on it it doesn't feel like you should be able to stand on it or move on it or do anything mm. on it it feels so unstable, but you do get used to it. But I very much uh, relate to this yeah. moment. <laughs> Fantastic animated moment when he's just like flailing on it and falls <laughs> off. Uh, it's just good stuff. The, the, the fall backwards as well is like kind of in slow motion. There's like mm. a very much like a, a slowdown suspension mm. in midair as he falls. The fact that he tries it a couple of times as well, he's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah it gets his balance. <laughs> um, do you know if you are. What's the phrase? Is it normal or goofy? Uh, I'm normal. Okay. Is it normal? I think. Is that what they call it? Uh, I think it's just normal. Go and then, yeah, goofy is when you put, I think, left foot forward. Uh, no, I put left foot forward. We'll have to. Do I? Sorry for any skaters. Out yeah. There. No, no, I do left foot forward, yeah. which I think is normal. And then I think if you're right foot forward, you're goofy. Okay. And can, like, we have to get updates from you as you progress As, if i get any better yeah, uh, yeah okay <laughs> if your knees and hips don't give out <laughs> saying yeah. before. i i can i'm not too bad i can go from point a to point b That's... like i can go if on a flat surface the minute like downhills become involved i get a bit scared mm. uh i can't do any tricks <laughs> but like um, the... and that's where i'm at <laughs> yeah well keep us updated i will i will it'll be interesting to see I, like, I still find running downhill scary. Like, that's da oh, that can yeah. be dangerous. Speaking of running, can I uh, can I just sidetrack for a mm. second here? Do you know they're doing a stage show of running, Run With The Wind? <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, my God. I don't know even how you would do yeah. that. Yeah. How do you do the running? But I guess it's similar to the high cue yeah. one. Maybe they just have... Theatre craft. You know what they probably do? They probably have, like, treadmill? a treadmill yeah. built into the I stage. I was thinking that. That'd be and sick. And then, like, a moving background. Oh. Can we bring that to Australia if they release oh, the right? Please. I would so do that. Pl oh, my God, please. <laughs> please. Yeah. That would be so good. Have you watched parts of the Haikyuu stage yeah. show? Oh, so good. Yeah. It's amazing how they do it. These stage show adaptations are, like, crazy. There's, like, 50 people on yeah, stage. Yeah, it's bizarre. Once. Run with the wind. Okay, I'll, I'll have to look, keep keep an eye on that because I love that I'll show. shoot you a link to the website yeah. after this. Yeah. But anyway. Anyway. When's the skate adaptation <laughs> happening with a half pipe on stage? Wee. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, the the skate arena spectacular. I'd fly to Japan just to watch that. Yeah, not understand For a word sure. of it, but no, I'd be, I wouldn't. Care. Have you seen anything like that in a foreign language where they have subtitles or surtitles yes. on on stage? Yeah, yeah. I went to see La Boheme. Okay, cool. Yeah, it was. I thought it was going to be distracting, but it yeah. wasn't. It was fine. Uh, they. I thought I would be like constantly like, I guess it's similar to watching anime. Yeah. I thought I would be constantly like distracted to, and having to look up all the time to read, you but it was actually it. fine. I think it probably helped that I knew the story because mm. it's basically rent. Yeah. So I was like, oh, I know <laughs> kind of what's going on here. So that helped. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as weird as I thought it would be. Yeah. I, yeah. Because there's so Have much. You? Yeah. I saw uh, Damon Alban's uh, Monkey Journey to the West. Oh, okay. And that had, because uh, that's in Chinese. And, yeah, right. Um, yeah, you just forget about it. But I had also listened to that soundtrack before, um, so I kind of knew. And, and no, Journey to the West is like a classic story. Um, yeah. So yeah. knew the, the beats. But yeah, that was that was cool. Had a, had a funny conversation with a, it was in New York, and I had a funny conversation with this old couple about it after the show. <laughs> they, they just hated it. <laughs> and I was like, I loved it. And they were like, 
awful theater. Oh. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, cool, man. Oh, no. <laughs> um, oh. But yeah, let's let's bring Run with the Wind to Australia or make a skate adaptation. <laughs> for oh my this god, stage. let's bring skate here. Shotgun playing Kiriko. <laughs> I'll oh, be no. okay. uh, sketchy <laughs> in like, <laughs> a big fursuit. Uh, anyway, back to the minute. Back to the minute. <laughs> <laughs> One thing I really love when he's on the ground is that the wheel on the skateboard keeps Moving turning. around? Uh, yeah. Such good it's detail. It's such a cute little detail. It's so tiny too. It's the tiniest little detail, mm. but like I got it in there. And the scream as well when he falls off the board. Great in both languages. <laughs> Yeah, some good, like, interesting camera positions throughout. Like, you get that nice side angle, yeah. and when Lunga's flat on his back and Reki's laughing at him, it's like a weird kind of diagonal shot. Yeah, that, there's heaps of different ones in mm. this in this scene. And, yeah, this one, again, it's like one of those weird, almost looks like they're being watched well, <laughs> by Cherry. <laughs> Maybe that's the cherry point of view. Maybe. Your cherry in your calligraphy studio. <laughs> <laughs> Holding your fan to your lips. <laughs> Being such a massive creep. Uh, yeah, it is a weird, it's a weird choice of angle, but I like it. Mm. It's it's funny. Recky's such a dick. Just he, so, he just laughs in his face. <laughs> and then just completely shows him up by doing a sick ollie over the top of him. Yeah, and he's also he's also like, be my friend. Also, I'm gonna laugh at you. <laughs> but that's like, is that cool? That's how he gets better. I feel like I laugh, my, I laugh too much at you sometimes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm laughing with you. Obviously, we're laughing together. Yes. But in the edit, it sounds like I'm laughing at you. <laughs> I mean, I'm laughing at me too. It's fine. But yeah, he 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 laughs at him, and they somehow become friends. It's cute. It's very quick. It is. Well, you know what you know what really solidifies it is the soulmate moment. What's that? Uh, which is when you, the character A does the cool trick, and it gets reflected in character B's mm. eye as they do it, which happens a lot in sports animes and other animes as well. But normally, sports animes. Yeah. Um, and they do it in Banana Fish actually. Mm. Do the reflection. Uh, and that's generally what people like to call it. <laughs> the, the soulmate moment. Yeah. I love that. They do it in Bakuten heaps. Yeah. Lots of. Yeah. Uh, heaps. So much. So many characters wanting to mimic what other characters have done. Mm. Yeah. So many, so many soulmates the coach has then. <laughs> because ev- <laughs> everyone in that show basically just simps for coach. <laughs> basically. I mean, I understand. They all love him. Yeah. He's pretty great. Um, even when he was a bad boy. Um, yeah. Nice difference between the dub and the sub here. Uh, this thing wasn't made for sta- uh, people to stand on versus maybe we shouldn't be standing on it. <laughs> like actual <laughs> aggression from Lunga, like actual like arcing up a bit. I love that the, the animation goes kind of low quality in this little ag- argument too. Mm. Like they kind of just like got like the line mouths. Yeah, and... really simple. <laughs> oh, it's cute. Yeah, Something it's I really... Dub. Oh, that little kick! The kick he does his to get on his board. Oh. I, I watched it like three times when we when we watched this minute. It's like, ah, uh. that's just so smooth. And it's smart animation because they don't show the whole thing. But you think that would almost mm. be harder to do, like not show the whole thing moving. But it's like, oh, it's so smooth. And I love the that the shot is like from underneath his board as he's going towards Lunga. Such a cool little uh, point of view. And the music. There's a very off model. Uh, shot of Lunga from beneath the board where he's got like a five head. <laughs> like he's, oh, I'll screenshot this one. Uh, the music kicks in at that point as well. Oh, it's interesting nice. you say you were getting like background music Sims vibes. I was getting, do you know Soccer Mummy? No. Ah, uh, okay. She's a really good indie artist, but like very much in this new wave of artists who are basically just redoing grunge from the 90s. Oh, okay, cool. But yeah, big soccer mummy vibes from this one. Oh, nice. Yeah. I, maybe I need to listen to it again. Well, the, I, I didn't think the soundtrack was out, but it's just not out on Spotify. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I listened to it again. Still reminds me of Sims. <laughs> <laughs> maybe like Sims 4 
where it's like a bit more like yeah. Sims One is completely like solo piano. Yeah, no, no, and it, I mean more like Sims Four. Okay, like I can just imagine that like music, like you're creating a your character. That music's yeah. playing in the background. The amount of <laughs> weird songs I can still remember from, like, The Sims Celebrity is ridiculous. <laughs> like, the little jingles uh, that you your character would have to sing to become a celebrity. Oh, my God. That's Grubby crazy. Grubby Grash. I remember. <laughs> Nobody... Did you ever play Herbs? Yeah. Yeah, I did. The Black Eyed Peas. like, the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> I remember the Black Eyed Peas. Like, the sim version of the Black Eyed Peas songs are burned into my brain. That's the Gabriella Chilmi simlish for me. <laughs> Dita Boombois. Oh, boy. Deep cut. When I showed you Emily that, uh, Wait, that Gabriella Chilmi simlish version, she was like, "What? what is this? Why do you <laughs> know about this and why is it a thing? Uh, sorry for the people here that wanted us to talk about skate. Which no, it's all <laughs> Sims. About Sims today <laughs> for half of this episode. <laughs> I didn't play much of four. <laughs> we're legitimately <laughs> just talking about the Sims. I, me and my brother were so hyped for number two when that was going to come out. Two, I think, was really cool because you like actually had the generation goals. But oh, you goals, had like proper yeah. goals as well, like. And missions that could get you to the next place you wanted to go to. <laughs> you can stop talking about Sims now. Bottom line, the Sims also cool. Yeah, just but again, like looking at the underside of this board, like it's still all you got all the scratches and everything on it. Mm. Just, uh, just yeah, it's so good. Cool shot. And the camera, the character. slow motion, the slow motion of it going over longer. Lunga looks really pretty in this scene. <laughs> You're going to have to deal with me saying the characters look pretty a lot, just well, FYI. I mean, I agree, but <laughs> I, I am, like, with you in solidarity and silence. <laughs> yeah. You didn't know what you were getting into. It's just going to be pretty me. Pretty boys. <laughs> me simping over the boys. Um, Such a cool Ollie. And gets re- mm. repeated later on when Lunga nails it. But the slow-mo Ollie, the face the 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 smile that conveys the joy of skateboarding it's just the best it's the best face Mm. it's the best happy smiley face it's interesting that we don't get to see it here it's more about longer in this seeing it for the yeah yeah, and and absorbing the the coolness of the Mm. the moment Mm. uh no wrenchy face for recce here on his little oh, seat. wrench watch. Wrench, wrenchy watch. Wrenchy's, wrenchy's not feeling it today. <laughs> Maybe Wrenchy will never feel it and we've just made it up. No, he does. I know he for does a fact feel he does. Well, he, he has. He, he has felt he it has. already. We he just need to it. see him feel it more. Uh, he's just so, Lunga's so shocked. He could have died here. Like, it could have gone <laughs> so tragically horribly, wrong horribly in wrong. this moment. Like, he could have just bailed and Lunga could have got a skateboard to the face. <laughs> But it End of the show. End. <laughs> Roll credit. And then he, he wants to do it too. This is the weird bit. When Reki rolls his board up to Lunga, mm. there's like a whole bit of dialogue in the Japanese where it's like, how did you do that? Uh, like this, see? But in mm. the English, Reki just like floats behind a bush out of frame. Nobody says anything. And then he says there's like... There's nothing in the dub? No, there's like... It's so bizarre. He just floats behind the bush and and then he says, check it. (laughs) And it's like, check what? (laughs) You're off screen. It's so seedy. (laughs) It's so sus. I double, triple took because it's just so, it's another moment of that. I I thought it was a lip sync thing because you can't really see anyone speaking. Maybe they didn't want to dub over Lunga just sitting there silently. He really does just say check it, doesn't he? Yeah, but it's so sus. And then Lunga says, nice. <laughs> and it's, I don't know what I'm watching anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Especially over the shot of Cherry. Uh, looking very sus with his fan mm. up against his lips. Mm. Um, but I did want to talk about this shot mm. because there is there was some, like, theory going around that the reason, like, Cherry wants to get Lunga into the skating a bit more is because he wants to like lure him, lure Adam back to S with like a new skater. 
Ah. Yeah. So it's orchestrated. Yeah. So, like, oh. Cherry basically orchestrates the whole thing. Oh. <laughs> so that's why when we get to it a bit later, when he's like, no, longer should race. It's Cherry that says it. He gives, yeah. Oh, okay. Shit. This puts a new spin on it. <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't mean, like, not confirmed or anything, but that's, like, the little bit of a theory going around. Ah, okay. And that's, like, why he's looking at them so sus out the window because he's like, oh. Yeah. New, new meat, maybe. And I think even, um, I think potentially at some point, Joe even says to him, like, what are you doing, maybe? I, that could be wrong. I could be getting this mixed up with Fruits Basket. <laughs> <laughs> All the theories in that. We'll find out when we get to whenever that happens. I, the- I think it's in the restaurant scene in episode two. But anyway. Okay. So it's soon. For yeah. If you're watching this normally, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> looks at watch. Oh. <laughs> um, we've, we've got another like ten hours ahead of us before we get there. It, it does. <laughs> it does make it seem like a long form series. <laughs> Doing it like this. Yeah. Like it's 150 episodes instead of yeah, really 12. I mean, we're basically up to the last shot after Cherry's yeah, ominous after look. Cherry. Yeah, Recky tells Lunga he works at the skate shop. He looks so. Su- oh, sorry, I'm just going to bag Cherry. He looks so sus. Looks so sus in this picture. Yeah. I do like your theory. Let's yeah. Let's keep an eye out for it. Yeah. I think I've got a feeling there'll be a few more kind of like hints at it mm. throughout because I think there was like a, the thread that I read on it was pretty detailed, like with with little bits Different of pieces. evidence. But I do yeah. like it. I mean, I I get the vibe that they've been trying to get Adam back for a long time. To fix him or to fix him. What am I? Chris Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of cold play. Well, they say, they say it's to settle a grudge, really. Mm. It doesn't seem to be particularly, like, negative. They kind of just want to get him kind of back in, I think. I don't know. Mm. It doesn't seem as like we hate him and we want to beat him. It's yeah. more like we want to get him back to, like, maybe being what he was used to be like. Mm. But yeah. not like this. <laughs> not, yeah. not with so many overarching Adam and Eve um, no. references. Not by using a, a child to seduce him back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's probably not the best plan of attack. No. Does, well, it I mean, it like works. It does. So it is the best plan of attack. Yeah. Um, it looks like maple leaves on Cherry's blinds oh, on his ribbon. Too. Maybe That's he's from cute. Canada. <laughs> It's dumb. Plot twist. <laughs> Plot twist. Carla knows Cherry is from Canada too. <laughs> but yes, you're right. Uh, then he just tells him that he's working at the at the shop. Yeah. And that's the end of the minute. Yeah. And he's he he. <laughs> I love this detail that you picked up in a couple of episodes ago that Recky does have a different under hoodie. Yes. <laughs> How many he, different I think hoodies? He has does he have? a lot. Mm. I think he has quite a few. <laughs> it's quite a classic look. The the t shirt under the hoodie. But it yes. must be hot. He must be boiling. Must be so warm. Look how sunny so it is. Warm. <laughs> so warm. Jack, when he's got the hoodie and the blazer on? Yeah. Boiling. Too hot. No. Much too hot. <laughs> Silly boy. <laughs> um, favorite moment? That. <laughs> oh, favorite moment. Mm, oh, the I summit can't moment. Forgot. Yeah, summit. Come moment. on, jumping over. The, that's just beautiful. And reflected beautiful. in the eyes. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Closely followed by Sus Cherry. Yeah, I gotta say, Sus Cherry does it for me on this one. Mm. It's, it's a detail I didn't remember. Um, mm. It's so suspect, and especially because <laughs> this is a character that we've just met. It's it's just really weird. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what's exciting? Yeah. Why? I think next minute we actually pass the halfway mark for the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe it! Uh, what, my God! How did we ever get this far? <laughs> As for this minute, this one's over. Um, it's done. Done, Zay. If you want to talk to us, it sounds so sad. <laughs> please talk to us uh, on Twitter, <laughs> infinite underscore minute, or on Gmail. Uh, on Gmail? <laughs> <laughs> or at Gmail? <laughs> or, <laughs> or email us. At infinite minute podcast at gmail.com. God, we gotta go. We, we have to go. 
<laughs> we, you, you don't understand. We have to. You don't understand now. the old, the old people vibes. Talking about young people who can do things safely <laughs> without hurting themselves. I knocked out my two front teeth two years ago. Like I'm, I'm injury oh prone. Gosh. I've done that as well. Really? Yeah. I just put, I just put my retainer in and made them stay in there. Oh. <laughs> When people get more injured, we need to talk about our teeth. Some people yeah. hate teeth, but we, so we won't we won't drop that on you now, right? No. <laughs> right after no. we finished. Yes, sorry. <laughs> after Trigger warning: teeth. teeth. Um, <laughs> thanks for listening. <laughs> hey, bye. <laughs> we've, we've we've left you with a little treat, a little hint of our teeth stories. Ooh, how enticing! <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>